morning everybody today we are at the Dole plantation which is a plantation of pineapples we have just stopped at the parking lot we're about to go in so let's go and check it out but first I thought I'd show you the mountains right behind me it's just such a beautiful sight there they are and pretty much everywhere you drive you see them it's so beautiful and there's some kind of creek here as well very cute let's go inside now yeah it's funny how it's called the Dole plantation yeah, you think they would call them pineapples? Pineapples, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I guess they call different things in different countries. There is a pineapple maze here as well. Uh, obviously, it's just like hedges that you can walk around in and everything. So I don't know if I'm going to go in here, but from the top, it is actually a pineapple in the shape of a pineapple. So that's pretty cool as well. I might try and find and attach an aerial view picture of this. So we've got pineapple garden maze, pineapple express and plantation garden tour but I really just want to go inside here and see what they've got apparently they've got some nice food and things made out of pineapples obviously <laughs> being a plantation it's very tropical all the plants are so nice like in Australia I'm used to a balance of some tropical and then some bush plants but here it's just all like this it's all really lush and green and obviously multi for as well look at that right inside and this, this is beautiful. That's amazing. Established in July 28, 1900. So, <laughs> <laughs> huh? We got a key to try our luck in winning a prize. <laughs> I don't like Anthony. I don't like you, Anthony. Yeah. Hello. Oh, that's really cool. You can try your luck. Guaranteed, just pick the ugliest and the hairiest one. <laughs> pineapple crisps. Everything made from pineapples. <laughs> Some of our favorite Hawaiian bees. Longboard. Lager and the Fire Rock Pale Ale. So good. If any of you visit, you have to try these. Try because you don't want it to be dry. Because if it's too dry, you can have more mess. First, if you want to trust your own pineapple, all you have to do is just press the crown. So this pineapple crown we just dry for two days. We're just keeping that crown for two days. And then after two days, you just take some of the leaves there. And this is not in the water for eight to ten days. So what you put in water for ten days, as long as the roots get the unusual size, and then that time you can plant them. But make sure to plant them under the sun or you can use artificial sunlight. They grow mosquitoes. So after the presentation, the lady uh, sliced up the pineapple and let everybody take a piece or whatever. But as you can see, it's actually coated with like a plum sugar, uh, plum sugar, yeah. And it's really sweet and adds obviously a beautiful color. But what she was saying that was I thought was really interesting is that when you cut the skin off the pineapple, it releases uh, like an acid, basically. And she was saying that you're meant to rinse the pineapple first before you serve it or before you eat it to get rid of that acid coating just uh, under the skin as you slice it off. So anyway, we're gonna try this. It's a good pineapple, definitely good. I mean, here at the plantation, they've been picked ripe. What more can you ask for? Extremely juicy, extremely sweet. This adds another layer of sweetness. For me, it's not necessary, but she was saying, obviously, if you don't have access to picking pineapples as they are ripe, as they are ripe, because obviously, like in the store, they would store them for a while. You can always get yourself this powder and put it on top just to bring out the sweetness to add a bit of extra sweetness. But it's really nice. So these are handcrafted. Amazing. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful bowl. It is. Mm. 
This is the pineapple variety garden. These are all small pineapple trees and the lady explained to us how to plant them but she said before you get the first fruit it takes about 18 months for it to come up but you can uh, get a few pineapples. Here we go, we've got a little one coming up right here. But yeah, you can, it can take quite a while. Some of them oh. are growing pineapples already. Look at that, Sydney right there. That's how far away we are. It's nice to be away for a while. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is a this is actually really cool. We've got a lot of pineapples growing out of this one plant. We've got three. Nope, two. No, actually, no. That may be a couple of them planted together. But there we go. Little pineapples. Ah. This is a little mini pineapple, is a little mini pineapple. <laughs> starting to grow. That's beautiful. We've got little doves here, but they are actually so tiny. I've never seen such little doves. They're like half the size of what we have. Wow. Oh, it's a beaver pond. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful bird. Very nice. It's got red eyes. It's amazing. Look at its feathers. It's so smooth. Very nice looking bird. But we do have beavers here somewhere and apparently you can feed them also. But I guess they've been trained now not to... Oh, there's a fish. It's a koi. It's a koi. And another one there, but I think the beavers have been trained not to come out unless they get food. <laughs> so I don't think we'll see any. There's a lot of koi in here. Wow, there's so many. Papayas growing on the tree. I wish they were ripe and I wish I could pick them. <laughs> I love papayas. Looks so similar to our gum tree, but this one is, it looks like it's almost painted. It's like green, orange, blue, purple, beautiful. That's the type of gum tree that it is. That is a beautiful flower. And we've got some beautiful cacao growing here as well. I want all these trees in my backyard, honestly. <laughs> I would eat all of it, not at once. These are the ripe ones, or almost ripe at least. It's now time to go get some pineapple juice and some pineapple ice cream. All right, we've got a lot to pick from. We have had breakfast already, so I really want to try like a couple of these pineapple things mainly. Definitely the pineapple juice. I'm just having some Dole Whip and pineapple juice. It's a mixture of both. Tell us, what does it taste like? Like pineapples. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's very sweet and nice. It's nice. Got two of these and then had an extra one. So Manish got lucky today. He's got two. Yeah. <laughs> After we finish this, we're going to get going to the coffee farm, coffee plantation as well and check out what that has to offer. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up nice, some kind of nice coffee, at least try a few different types. We're in a coffee farm. Well, actually, this is the retail part of it. So I'm just gonna give you a quick look around before we go to the beach, because this is where I actually really wanna go to. It's such a nice hot day. Well, it's not hot, hot, but it's it's warm, definitely warm enough and better than, than yesterday. So we definitely wanna go to the beach. So have a look at this. Some nice artwork. Of course, a lot of coffee mugs. And this is the farm, Green World Farms. Hawaiian coffee and a whole heap of different types of coffees chais anything you could think of hazelnut non hazelnut it's just yeah all right we're gonna try some coffee now I have some samples we're trying some iced coffee already had the Hawaiian Rocky Road butternut rum Leila Luau Mountain I don't know, sunset and Green World House Blend. Only thing that I got from the store is a sugarcane lip balm, which is made out of all local ingredients. So I'm looking forward to using that. Obviously, it's just a lip balm, but <laughs> I like the fact that it was made locally. 